So global secondary indexes are considered global because their queries on the index can span all of the data in the base table and across all partitions. Uh, these indexes have no size restrictions where we saw with LSIs, there was a 10 gigabyte limit for all items in that uh, index. Uh, they can provision their own throughput settings uh, and uh, they consume capacity, but it's just not from the base table. So that's a good thing. And there's a limited 220 per table. Uh, I think you might be able to use a service uh, limit increase to increase that. I'm not sure. But even if that's not the case, it's not going to show up in the exam, so do not worry. Uh, if you want to create a global secondary index, you can create it at, uh, while you're creating the table, or you can make one afterwards, and you can modify them and delete them at any time. So it's extremely uh, versatile to create these things. Um, and the partition key can be different from the base table, and you should make it different uh, generally because that would make sense. Um, but I guess if you had not made your local secondary index and you wanted uh, a partition key with a different sort key, then I guess you'd have to make a GSI. Um, but just notice that you can set the partition key to whatever you want. Um, and the sort key is optional, so you don't actually have to have it. You could just have a partition key, so that'd be a simple key. Um, but yeah, that's global secondary indexes. So now let's just pull them up side by side and uh, make sure that we understand the differences clearly.